placement of the the bushing and the clamp that we took off earlier. This is a drive shaft as it's come up through. Take this this bushing here. This is a wear surface of the bushing, so you want to make sure that this is clean, has no adhesive, and has no dirt or anything like that on it. And that presses onto the shaft just like that. And then this is a, a clamp that goes on in front of it. <coughs> Put that on like that. Put this down here. And you <coughs> I'm not going to be able to show you this, but you have to make sure that the drive shaft goes up into the bushing in the uh, back of the, the drive unit. <coughs> this goes back down in here, and then you make sure that you've got um, some space in here, about an eighth of an inch clearance, an eighth to three sixteenths of an inch. And by moving this back and forth, you can kind of estimate that. Or take maybe two coins together and, and put down in there, but you need to have absolutely need to have that clearance in there. If you don't, and if this is tightened up against there, it will tighten up tighter as you pedal and it'll get harder and harder to pedal a boat. So make sure that you've got some clearance like this. I think we uh, mentioned that in the um, owner's manual. Then once you have that on there in place, you just go back very simply and tighten this uh, this screw up. That tightens the clamp, and then this cannot back up. This keeps the drive shaft from moving backwards when you pedal. When you pedal backwards, the propeller tends to pull back and it pulls up against this, and this keeps the drive shaft and the propeller from moving uh, back and eventually heating up against the front edge of the rudder. So that's it. That's how you uh, how you replace the, uh, the drive shaft or replace the uh, seal and seal bushing in, in the Escapade boat with the old hexagonal fiberglass uh, drive shaft.